Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I love electricity and this is your friend Nero Moda once again here to discuss one very important topic with you. So first of all, thank you very much for uh, getting associated with me, uh, looking to my videos, watching it and grabbing a lot of knowledge out of it, also interacting with me and i'm really thankful to all those who have subscribed to my channel and uh, those who have given likes those who have shared my video and uh, you know i'm pretty sure you are waiting for such amazing content and that's the reason today i'm making this video with a very interesting topic so my last video on how to build your dream career on renewable energy you guys liked it so much uh, thank you for that i I got a lot of messages from you that, you know, hey, Nira, uh, building dream career in renewable energy is fine, but uh, you would like to know that who are actually giving the job uh, in this field, right? And uh, today, that's exactly the topic which I'm going to discuss with you. So I thought like, you know, answering each one of you in person and uh, giving the details in writing, I thought to make this video where I can cover everything and you guys can, you know, have a detailed um, understanding on which are the big companies who are into it. And our today's topic is who is giving jobs in renewable energy. Uh, this video uh, is going to blow your mind. So watch till the end because I'm going to cover everything which you would like to know. Okay, some there are a lot of information available in market, but everything is in bits and pieces. But in this video, I have tried to cover everything which you would like to know to build your dream career and also some of the basic information which you should be aware as an electrical engineer right so do watch this video till the end and if you are new uh, to my channel don't uh, forget to subscribe it so let's understand first that what indian government is doing in terms of enhancing our uh, you know footprints on new and renewable energy in india right so there is uh, you know an association or let's say a ministry who is working behind it and uh, the name is MNRE yes this abbreviation might be new for you but MNRE stands for Ministry of New and Renewable Energy right now I am exactly showing you the website I'm visiting it and uh, I would like to take you through their introduction their vision and their mission statement because that's where you know exactly we'll be getting uh, the knowledge of what MNRE is doing. The MNRE, the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, is the nodal ministry of the government of India for all matters relating to new and renewable energy. Right? This statement, this statement is very very important for us. Right? This states everything that what MNRE is doing. Yeah, the broad aim of the ministry is to develop and deploy new and renewable energy to supplement the energy requirement of the country. So that's all about their short introduction. There are a lot of other details, but I would not go to each and every line. Uh, that's where if you are interested, you can visit their site and read it. But what I am interested is to read their vision statement. Yeah, because that's the powerful thing which uh, drives the entire organization. So the vision is to develop new and renewable energy technologies, processes, materials, components, subsystems, products and services at par with international specifications, standards and performance parameters in order to make the country a net foreign exchange earner in the sector and deploy such indigenously developed and or manufactured products and services in furtherance of the national goal of energy security what a magnificent clear vision this is so they are very clear about uh, bringing the new technologies implementing new processes developing new material and components and building these subsystems right um, uh, further also to develop uh, you know the relevant products and uh, the services also at par not at 
just and uh, national level but with international specification standards and performance parameter I mean, now i would like to take you to you know what opportunities they are giving to the professionals to the freshers right so where we can find this i think uh, under the notice tab there is a tab called career and in that we have recruitments field let's see what they have uh, let's go to archive and in archive if you see there are some of the postings they have done uh, recently in uh, uh, february and month of january there are two and december also there were some uh, recruitments has been done so let's see advertisement of hiring you, you see here young professionals right so that's where exactly they are also promoting or giving the right platform to the right talent right if you are a young professional start with mnre try to see if there are any openings and you can you know get a breakthrough through such um, organization that would be really a wonderful target for you let's move on to the another company which is solar energy corporation of india limited seci what they call it and um, let's go to their you know introduction that what exactly they are doing so if i read their introduction solar energy corporation of india limited seci is a cpsu under the administrative control of ministry of new and renewable energy mnre so seci basically is working under the umbrella or the guidelines of mnre which was uh, set on 20th september 2011 to facilitate the implementation of national solar mission nsm and achievement of targets set therein it is the only cpsu dedicated to the renewable energy sector it was originally incorporated as a section 25 not for profit company under the companies act 1957 right so they are uh, only targeting the development of uh, solar energy in india and they are working under um, the guidance and guidelines of mnre <clears throat> now if i go to you know the career section there are two things what they have described they are also giving jobs and apart from that they are also giving internship guys so this is really wonderful thing i would say that you know if you are a fresher or if you are a college student uh, you would need some kind of internship to be done and if your interest is solar energy then seci could be your first choice right to do the internship to through them and imagine if you have uh, their credentials in your resume this is gonna make a lot of different jobs at seci so they have many uh, you know advertisements been done in the recent past and i think they have held some kind of examination also for let's say for senior officer at human resources for supervisor for junior accountant for secretarial officer uh, also, I could see, you know, senior engineer IT, supervisor civil, supervisor electrical. But yes, they are giving, you know, the opportunities to the professionals. They have their career section clearly defined in their website. And uh, by time to time, I would recommend you to visit this and uh, be updated of you know what kind of recruitment they are uh, they'll be doing in the future all right so that was all about SCCI let's move on to the another company government company which is also into uh, uh, the development of uh, renewable energy and that is NTPC renewable energy limited right ntre what they call uh, the vision is to be the world's leading renewables company accelerating india's energy transition what is their mission providing reliable affordable and sustainable energy supporting climate resilient future driven by innovation and agility right and uh, also let's go to their introduction what they are when it was founded so formed on 17th october 2020 ntpc renewable energy limited ntpc rel is a wholly owned subsidiary of the ntpc limited india's largest power utility ntpc rel has been formed with an objective to accelerate the renewable energy growth 
of the company and increase the green footprint across country offshores and overseas so apart from the local projects i am sure they must be also taking um you know the overseas projects uh, abroad also so ntpc real is taking up large solar wind and hybrid projects so that's what uh, the portfolio they are handling all over the country and developing gigawatt scale renewable energy parks and projects in the different states under uh, umrepp ultra mega renewable energy power park let's go to the career section uh, again i could see that you know there are a lot of advertisements they have done and that's career archive also uh, they have provided let's see if something uh, relevant we can find there no not yet but uh, maybe in future i am pretty sure that uh, they must be advertising something for uh, the young professionals right because i think they have uh, mega projects in their hand and they would surely need the talent to execute all of them so that's about the three major bodies i have introduced today in this video uh, the first one is ministry of new and renewable energy which is heading the entire development under that we have seci solar energy corporation of india limited uh, who is only targeting the development of solar energy and uh, ntpc renewables uh, it's 100 percent subsidiary of ntpc and also focusing on the similar development locally and abroad right but apart from this there are many companies uh, which are privately owned uh, but are also doing a lot of projects in India right and um, I cannot forget the Green Co when it comes to um, the privately owned company so Green Co is one of the major player and uh, let's go and see in there about a section and learn what get Co, uh, Green Co actually is right so Greenco is one of the India's leading renewable energy companies replacing fossil fuels with integrated decarbonized energy and grid assets enabling sustainable and affordable energy with a net installed capacity of 7.5 uh, GWDC across 15 states in India. And I'm sure they must be having uh, a lot of ongoing projects but what I was interested is to know, uh, you know what career opportunities they are giving. And uh, if I come to this section, I think there are many openings they have posted in uh, this month and last month. And one of them was like postgraduate engineer trainee, uh, postgraduate engineer trainee, again, geology, multiple locations, right? Manager, assistant general manager, and uh, again manager trainee senior manager officer assistant manager yes quite promising company quite good hold in renewable and uh, that's what all about green co apart from that we have a dani renewable power generation group is also having a lot of mega projects i would say so Adani Green Energy Limited AGEL is again India's largest and world's leading in renewable energy solution partner enabling the clean energy transition AGEL develops owns and operates utility scale grid connected solar wind and hybrid renewable power plants right so that's all about uh, you know Adani uh, Green Energy Limited or they're focused into now let's take uh, you know their progress at a glance uh, Mercom capital the US based think tank ranked Adani group as the global number one solar power generation asset owner right 45 gigawatt vision to develop renewable energy capacity by 2030 aligned to India's decarbonization goals 2140 megawatt India's first and the world's largest wind solar hybrid power cluster 648 megawatt one of the world's largest single location solar power projects right already executed I, I guess and uh, apart from that they're also into airports uh, handling the you know water treatment plants road metro and rails they have data centers so much diversified guys so 
this was all about uh, you know the private sector companies who are uh, also into renewable energy so this was all about uh, the job prospect and who are giving job in the market i'm pretty sure after watching this entire video you must have got the answer to many of your questions you had thank you very much for being with us if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe it and if you like this video please do share with your friends because sharing is caring i'll see you in another video till then wish you a very good luck signing off from nirmala